Just a day after the two principals endorsed the nomination of Dr. Willie Mutunga for the Chief Justice's position with Nancy Baraza as his deputy and Keriako Tobiko as the man in charge of the prosecutorial functions of the state, the ball now is in Parliament's court to determine whether the three fit the bill. I do direct that the names of the nominees together with their curriculum vitae be referred to the relevant departmental committee the three nominees will, however, have to go through a fresh probe into their qualifications, integrity and competencies. Due to the need for a speedy conclusion of the process of filling the three critical slots, the Speaker directed the committee to submit its report to the House on Wednesday. And the House should consider the report on the nominees, preferably on Thursday, the 26th May 2011, at 2.30 p.m. In the meantime, four members of parliament who profess the Islamic faith have voiced their support for the three nominees. However, the lawmakers said they would try to convince Dr. Mutunga, who is a Muslim, to drop the earring he adorns, which has drawn mixed reactions, with critics claiming it had sexual connotations. Nadini ya Kislamu inasema kwamba mwanamume hafai, hafai kuva kipuli na hafai kuva kipini. So if you are a Muslim and you put on that, you can't even enter a mosque. Dr. Mutunga is however on record as stating that his stud had nothing to do with his sexuality but about his spirituality. He's also on record as having said that he would rather lose the Chief Justice's job than do away with the stud. The 66-year-old legal scholar beat a pool of seasoned appellate and high court judges to the nomination for the top judiciary job in the new constitutional order. Francis Eshuri, Citizen Live at 9.